but I have breaking news. There is a new head coach of the Dallas Cowboys. It's Mike McCarthy. I'll start with you, our former coach. What? Adam Schefter <laughs> just reported that Mike McCarthy, former coach of your boy Aaron Rodgers, will now be with Dak Prescott and the Dallas Cowboys. Coach, I was going to come to you, but it seems like Stephen A's chomping at the bit over there. Can I get some coffee? It's going to be a long day. You want some water? I got a lot of beverages it's over gonna here. It's going to be a long day. Let me give me something. Let Molly. me be. Yeah, you careful. want some Listen, water first, here? First of all, first of all, let, let me preface my comments by saying I'm going to defer to the football guys. Please don't get me wrong. I don't want to speak out of turn. Mm -hmm. Mike McCarthy is a Super Bowl champion. Mm -hmm. Mike McCarthy is a guy that took the Packers to the playoffs on numerous occasions. We get all of that. And so, as a resume, Max, Marcus, Coach, Molly, for a, from a resume perspective, I have no issue with him. My problem is, how'd you leave? As Janet Jackson would say, what have you done for me lately? Or in my case, I'm saying, what did you do the last time I saw you? They call that you got, the nail on the head. You're right. What so just so my point is, Aaron Rodgers, one of the greatest quarterbacks we've ever seen, the greatest talent at the quarterback position I've ever seen, Aaron Rodgers said, quote, you know, not him, quote, because he didn't say it publicly, but it was like, it's archaic. We beyond this. We need to advance and adapt to a different time. That's Aaron Rodgers. And so for me, when you look at it and then you look at the Dallas Cowboys and the things that they were not doing, you're going to bring in a guy that was accused of being beyond his time. You know, the time that passed by him by. Time. That yeah. is the guy but, that you hire. Oh, by the way, with Urban Meyer out there, I'm not the Lincoln Riley dude that you are. Yeah. But with Urban Meyer out there, and at least interview other coaches, all we had for the record was Marvin Lewis. Marvin Lewis. Okay? And, 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 and Mike McCarthy, you're the Dallas Cowboys, and that's all you did? Oh, damn. I don't know, Coach. <laughs> I, think, I don't know. I think McCarthy oh. sold himself to Dallas as, like, a guy who's now going to embrace analytics and look forward and all that stuff. But the Garbage. fact is, it's an uninspiring hire. And if you look at the – if you listen to the names of the candidates, um, Urban Meyer among them, but, but especially Marvin Lewis, what you hear are retreads that give ownership a sense that there's someone steering the ship – that there is someone with some executive capacity and some brand that you know and you feel is going to be solid, when really what the Cowboys need is a dynamic guy who's going to be there for 20 years and who they think they can grow with, and that's not what this looks Let like. Let me play yeah. devil's advocate here, and then, of course, I want to hear from you, Coach. He made the playoffs in nine of his 13 seasons as a head coach. Correct. Only Bill Belichick has more playoff appearances than Rogers. McCarthy. Yeah, I'm going to say this. I mean, first off, the resume does look good. He mentioned nine playoffs and 13 things. It's pretty well, good odds. Well, yeah, it is pretty good, but if, if uh, Aaron Rodgers is your quarterback, I don't think it's that good. Right. So, to me, it's like, God, dog, I would have killed to have had these guys. Now this guy's going to inherit that? I don't know. he got to deal with God or something because this you is like a that, great that situation. Much? Oh, yeah, I do. And, and here's what he's going to do. The future, the guy that you're talking about is Jason Witten. That's going to be the guy they're going to groom. This guy's going to be in here for about two or three years. They're going to give the job, the, you know, job to Jason Witten. He'll move forward. But when I look at this right here, he's got to keep Kellen Moore and all that. Why? He's got the number one offense in the league. They've done a great job there. He's going to bring in somebody else to, to run the defense, all right, and, and that'll be fine. It'll probably be Dom Capers or somebody else. Who, who cares? But when I look at that, this is like this hire was on paper looks good, but I don't think it's, it's not the future that you talked about, and it's not a sexy hire by any stretch to me because you didn't win. Let, you were like the rest of us when you never had Aaron Rodgers. Guess what happened to you? Won, what, four games, three games? That, that's what it showed me. So how great a coach are they getting? I don't know, but they're getting a guy. The analytics thing I thought was garbage when he came out and said, I'm going to embrace all this kind of stuff. You're going to embrace it. You better have an offensive line and a running game, which you do. So, hey, you're going to go for it on fourth of down. Yeah. Embracing it. But, yeah. Marcus, you played for this team. You're closest to the situation of anyone here. What, what? <laughs> I have, like, I don't know what this means. I, I, I really got to take Rex's approach and say that this is like a stopgap hire. Mm -hmm. uh, potentially coaches were like, nah, we don't want to interview. 
Like th that's what I'm getting. I'm not getting that this. No, no, no. They're but gonna this, take that. But but my point is loaded team. But here's my deal, Max. Why Mike McCarthy then? Like why him? What 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 was identified? From Mike McCarthy to tell you that, that this strong leadership, maybe <sighs> isn't that one thing that was lacking in Dallas? I don't I, I don't know if Jason Garrett leadership was in question. I don't think that was I think I think Jason Garrett from a fundamental football standpoint was in question. Like like Stephen, they said, it's just a. It's uneven. Like it's like you walk past well, the guy in the store and be like, "What's up?" Let, let, and then move on. Let, like, let me say this, okay? I and, haven't and been Max lost and Molly words, know this words about me. Time. I'm very, very big, not just on resume, but on you living up to your signature. For example, when you first took over the New York Jets job, you came in as a defensive-minded wizard. That was what your reputation was. First year there, you were number one. Mm -hmm. I'm looking at a guy like Mike McCarthy, and I'm saying, you were an offensive coordinator. Before you became the head coach, everything about you is associated with offense. And the reason why you got fired was because of your offense. Think about that for a second here. We even, even though we had lots to complain about with the Green Bay Packers defensively and overall, and Aaron Rodgers was carrying you on your back, he didn't get much credit for what they did offensively because we saw on too many occasions Aaron Rodgers coming to the rescue of the Green Bay Packers. And on too many occasions, we wondered about what they were lacking. And so we look at the Dallas Cowboys. And we see their personnel. And we're sitting up there saying, what the hell is wrong with Jason Garrett? What the hell is wrong with Kellen Moore? You don't know to get Ezekiel Elliott the ball. You don't know to get Amari Cooper involved. You don't know to target this man in a certain situation. Blah, blah, blah. We're looking at all of that. And your answer is Mike McCarthy? That is where I am lost. I don't want to disrespect Mike McCarthy in any way. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.